Hi guys, I'm Michael Payton, um, and this is the Friday Five. Uh, today I'll be talking about three saints that give us an example to, uh, as young people, to just inspire us to become saints. Because um, a lot of times I feel like we can look at sainthood like it's something that's way out there. It's something that we don't have to worry about until we're old. But in reality, it's something that we can achieve now and that we should, we should be striving for right now. Uh, the first saint is Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati. He's, he hasn't been uh, canonized a saint yet, but he's blessed, so that'll have to that'll work for us. Um, he was actually 24 whenever he died, which just, again, it shows us that becoming a saint isn't something that we, we just do whenever we're old. Um, the way he um, can inspire us is by his charity. Um, so he, he was born into a rich family, and this allowed him to give a lot. Um, and he, he housed and fed so many poor people and um, allowed them to just have better lives. Um, and we can see like his charity flood in, uh, or we can see his charity most whenever he died actually. At his funeral, uh, his funeral was just packed. The line was really long and um, it just is inspiring uh, that he touched so many lives through his charity. Uh, the second saint is Therese of Lisieux. Um, her example is by doing small things. Um, and this can inspire us because throughout the day we can just, we, like we don't have to give these big things to God. We, we should give the big things to God, but uh, we can also give the small things. And a lot of times the small things um, will just have a lot of power through just the consistency of that. Um, and so we can give the small things throughout the day, such as suffering, uh, the little the little sufferings throughout the day, or we can give the uh, joys of the day, the small joys. And it's, it's awesome because it, it's just limitless because there's so many little things throughout the day that we can just, we can give to God. Um, the third saint is Saint Maria Gretti. Um, she was 11 whenever she died, which even crazier for us because um, a lot, a lot of, we should probably all be older than 11, but um, it's just kind of crazy that so, someone so young can have such a love for God that um, they could be a saint. Um, the two virtues that she shows us are purity and mercy. Uh, a young man, her, her story is uh, that a young man came in and um, he wanted to do some impure things with, with Maria and she said no. And he, he absolutely didn't like that. And um, he stabbed her 14 times. And after that, Maria Goretti actually forgave him on her deathbed, which is just crazy. Um, and it's amazing that she had such purity and such mercy um, towards this man. And, um, and that's, it's just very inspiring because someone so young can be <laughs> so holy. Um, and as we end here, I wanna leave us with um, a passage from St. Paul. It's in Romans. He says, um, for our salvation is closer than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. And that just sums up what I'm trying to say because um, we're, we're not here forever. We're not here on this earth forever. And um, 
Sainthood should be something we strive for every day.